In this video, we're going to take a look at the process of creating a store in OpenBazaar. Now, right now you can see that we are on my profile page and for the purpose of these lessons, I have created a profile that is called Doctor Who Fan because I am one. And I was trying to think of what I wanted to put up in my demo store and I figured, hey, I've got a few little items I had nearby in a little tin that were some badges that I used to wear back in the 1980s on my jacket and uh, they were uh, just a bunch of little Doctor Who related ones. So I created a profile called Doctor Who Fan and I'm going to create a store that is, has that same theme. So to get started, if you want to sell, once you're set up, you have to click Become a Store. And you can find this option also in the menu in the upper right hand corner, Become a Store. Either one will take you to the same place. So this is the initial screen that you see when you decide to become a store and you click the button. And under name, it gives you your profile name and you can leave it that way or you can change it. And I'm gonna call this Doctor Who Memorabilia because it's what I'll be selling in this demo store. And next you need to type in a description for your store. Keep in mind that you want something descriptive, that uh, it doesn't hurt to have some keywords in there that people might be searching for, like Doctor Who in this case. And then the next item is tags. Tags are keywords, and the idea is you're going to put in some keywords that people would search for or browse through to find your store. So I'm going to put in Doctor Who. Now you'll note I'm going to not I'm going to put in Doctor Who with no spaces because when you press space, it creates that, saves that as a tag. So I'm going to type in Doctor Who together. I'm going to type in Doctor Space Who just to keep me covered in both possible searches. The idea though is you just kind of put in some keywords that relate to whatever it is. And you can, you can go back and change these later. So I'm just putting in a few words that uh, are related to Doctor Who. And this is not adult content, so I'm going to say no. And we hit next. And then we have to have, well, optionally, you want, and it's recommended, that you have moderators. Now, the moderators, very briefly, are uh, people who are third party, a neutral third party, who helps to, um, if there's any kind of an issue, they help you make sure that your funds, if someone is buying from you, that the customer is satisfied. If you're buying from somebody else, and that their store has moderators, then that means that you're more protected. And by having moderators, you are giving people a little peace of mind uh, and saying that they, you know, they're they're covered if if they have any issues. So there's three that are listed right now. I'm just going to check all of them, and I don't think you have any particular limit. And um, click finished. And now I basically have a store. So I obviously need to put in products and things like that, but it's basically basically set up. Watch the video. I'm going to be going through the settings uh, in a separate video, and there are some settings related to the store and being a st and having a store. So uh, keep an eye out for that part of the video if you need help with that.